Today we're going to show you how to terminate the FTPU series 4 pair modular plugs designed for field termination of horizontal cabling. The FTPU series modular plugs are available in packs of 5. Today we're going to be showing you an installation using the category 6A plug as shown in the packaging here. For those installations calling for either category 6 or 5E, a separate part is available that supports those specifications. The plug components include a strain relief boot, a wiring cap with an attached wiring label, the plug itself, a zip tie, and a protective nose cap for the plug. The tools needed to complete the termination include cable strippers, pliers, either small diagonal cutters or scissors, and of course your plug and cable. We recommend keeping the supplied instruction sheet handy in case you need to reference it during the termination. Before you begin your termination, insert your cable into the strain relief boot. If at first the boot doesn't fit over the cable, trim the boot down to size until you're able to slide it over the cable's jacket. Now you're ready to start the termination. Using your cable strippers, strip about an inch or two off your cable's jacket. Then spread your pairs back. This will expose any spline that's in the cable. Trim any spline so that it's flush with the cable's jacket. Now, begin to untwist your pairs and straighten out any bends in the wire. TIA defines two wiring configurations, T568A and T568B. We're going to follow T568B wiring, shown here on the wiring cap label. Note that the top row on the wiring label light green, green, brown, light brown, correlates with the holes on the bottom of the wiring cap. The bottom row of the label, light orange, orange, light blue, blue, correlates with the slots on the top of the wiring cap. With the wiring cap label facing up, insert the bottom row of conductors according to the indicated color code on the wiring cap label. Again, in this video, we're following the T568B wiring configuration. After you've laced the bottom row of conductors through the holes on the wiring cap, slide the wiring cap as close to the cable's jacket as possible. Lace the remaining conductors into the top row of the wiring cap according to the indicated color code. Once you have all of your conductors placed into the appropriate slots in the wiring cap, trim the excess so that it's as close to flush as possible with the wiring cap. Now you're ready to start the final steps of the termination. Rotate the conductor assembly into position with the wiring cap label facing down. Ensure that the small cutout on the side of the wiring cap aligns with the notch in the plug's body. With the wiring cap placed in the correct position on the plug, use your pliers to clamp the wiring cap until it completely sets into place on the plug. Now your wiring cap should be securely attached to your plug. Go ahead and remove the wiring label from the assembly. Now you can close the plug cover. You should hear a snap when you squeeze it shut. Pull back the strain relief boot to cover the plug. Make sure that the indentation on the top of the boot aligns with the indentation on the top of the plug. Finally, secure the strain relief boot to the plug using the cable tie. Simply insert the cable tie into the slot on the top of the strain relief boot and push until the cable tie wraps around the cable and exits out the other end. Then, tighten the cable tie until it's secure against the cable. 